In the last videos we visited some of the largest and most famous emission nebulae of the night sky. Today we will move a little away from the great regions to visit one of the most beautiful nebulae among them all. Hello, welcome to the Astronomina's channel. I am Fab and today we are heading towards the Monoceros constellation to visit one of the most photographed nebula in the night sky, the Rosette Nebula. <music> The Rosette Nebula is located about 5,000 light years away from the Earth, in the Monoceros constellation and close to the famous star Betelgeuse. It has an apparent magnitude of 9 and has a diameter of 130 light years, making it one of the largest and brightest nebulae in the night sky. The Rosette Nebula is formed by a large cloud of gas and interstellar dust, composed mainly by hydrogen, which is ionized by young stars in the region, and by the star HD46223, located in the center of the nebula. It also has several star-forming regions, which can be observed in clusters of young stars shrouded in dark dust clouds. Recent studies suggest that these stars were formed about 3 million years ago, in the radiation, in addition to contributing to the emission of the red light that we observe, also drives stellar winds in the region, causing the compression of gases and dust, which feed the star-forming process. <music> of the last opportunities for me to photograph the Rosette Nebula, as it is descending towards the horizon, which is good for completely driving it away from the serious light pollution, but is bad for restricting the capture time as the nebula disappears behind the tree tops throughout the night. I will use two nights to capture as many light frames as possible as the nebula will be visible at 60 degrees of altitude around 8 pm and will disappear behind the tree tops around 10 pm. As the Rosette nebula has a very diffuse luminosity, I will set the gain of ASI 183MC Pro at 150 with cooling at minus 10 degrees and 2 minutes of exposure time as usual. transparency was very good. However, the large circulation of low clouds impaired the acquisition process a little. In some moments, the fog ended up forcing me to stop completely the captures. In total, I got 59 light frames between the two nights and discarded 11 of them due to the cloudiness, which might seem a lot, but it was enough to render a good image. The final image was the result of stacking 48 light frames of 2 minutes, totaling 1 hour and 36 minutes of integration. An auto guy only managed to photograph it towards the end of my observation window. The detail and sharpness of the image did not disappoint. It was possible to observe the contrast of the clouds of ionized hydrogen, noticeable in the different shades of red and magenta 
in addition to the columns of interstellar dust very characteristic in the center of the nebula. Being able to observe these details is to contemplate the development and expansion of the universe, which, although so old, continues to transform itself and create such beautiful and intriguing images. I hope you enjoyed this weekend's images. I wish you all clear skies and see you soon.